So, in this lecture, we're going to talk about um, what you need to do before starting with anything. Um, in the previous lectures, you guys um, are starting to understand some concepts uh, that are crucial for proper time management, but there are certain things that you need to do um, prior to all of these things for you to be able to have a good kickstart at first because if you have a bad start if you fail to plan how you're gonna start you're not gonna be able to follow through even if you know these principles you're gonna face a lot of obstacles so we're gonna talk about the right way to start so when you plan everything ahead your road becomes clearer and easier to take if you say I want to get food and you you get inside your car and you start driving not knowing where you're going it's gonna take a lot of time to figure it out and, and, and you know you might spend you might waste a lot of time but if you say okay I want to get Burger King you go down to your car you put the GPS you go you get Burger King you eat and you go back home this is you managing your time effectively why because you planned ahead. You have a goal this week, let's say, to hit the gym five times. Um, it's Sunday, you say, okay, this, this week I'm gonna hit the gym five times. But then you wake up on Monday and you're like, okay, what am I gonna do today? Mm, maybe legs. No, actually I should do arms. And then you get confused and you say, okay, I'm gonna do arms. But then you don't have a, a workout plan to follow. And then you need to find a workout plan and you end up wasting so much time. You end up wasting the time that you could have spent at the gym finishing your workout. So when you plan ahead, the road becomes clearer and easier to take. And you'll be able to save a lot of time. And not just that, you'll be able to be more productive because you're not wasting time and willpower on useless tasks that you should have done before in order for you to be able to start with what's important. So always keep in mind when you want to start with something, be a bullet. A bullet doesn't decide which direction it should follow when it's in the air. And, and that's exactly what you should do. You should prepare yourself ahead. Aim towards your goals have a plan, know what you need to do, and then go after them. Planning ahead helps the most with procrastination because we'll take the same example. If you want to start going uh, to the gym on Monday and you don't have a plan, okay, you might first you need to decide what you're going to do today, if it's cardio, if it's push day, if it's legs day. And then after that, you need to figure out what exercises you're going to do. And then when you realize and, and you figure out what exercises you're going to do and all of that, then you find yourself that you wasted an hour and a half and now you have something else to do. And therefore you procrastinate going to the gym and you skip going on Monday and, you know, this thing might, goes, it might go on and on. On Monday, let's say Tuesday, you go and you do whatever you planned on Monday and then you get to Wednesday and you don't have a plan for Wednesday, right? And you're going to keep procrastinating and this is how people eventually uh, fail at, at, at perseverance, at, at staying at the gym and, and achieving their goals. So the frustration of not knowing what to do next uh, on the road to achieving a goal will give you a reason to procrastinate and therefore you'll be stuck at your place. Sometimes you won't just procrastinate because you have something to do. Sometimes you will procrastinate just because you spend too much mental energy on figuring out um, the program that you need and whatever you're going to do today and what time you're going to go that it just becomes frustrating and, and your willpower gets drained because maybe you did other stuff before you had work or you had to uh, take care of something and then your willpower gets trained you frustrate and therefore you procrastinate but when you plan ahead and you know that tomorrow at 9 30 a.m i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna spend uh, an hour to an hour and a half doing these six legs exercises then you have a solid plan 9 30 you go you do it you don't procrastinate you come back home and you don't you, when you do that, when you have a plan and you and you follow it through and you finish it, most of us, you will feel good when you finish your workout or when you finish your essay 
or when you're finished whatever you had to do at work, you feel good. You feel the sense of accomplishment and this will help you throughout the day when you feel like I went to the gym and I finished that. You want to you wanna achieve more. You say, okay, I'm going to finish. I'm going to go to work and I'm going to finish whatever I have. I'm going to finish my homework because this feeling of accomplishment as we talked before about um, how procrastination, how procrastination it has like a dopamine rush in your brain, but accomplishment has an even bigger uh, dopamine. It, it makes it, uh, it affects your brain in a different way. But of course, there's a bigger dopamine rush when it comes to accomplishing stuff. So when you plan ahead, you don't just skip procrastination and the frustration of skipping whatever you had to do but you get the same satisfaction and even more um, that you would have gotten if you had procrastinated uh, just out of nowhere for you to be able to spend some leisure time and you'll be able to carry on with the plan or you'll be able to carry on with your day even more effectively that's of course if you have a plan for the rest of the day. If you only have a plan for the gym and then you have uh, an assignment that you need to do an essay but you don't have the outline for the essay, you don't know what you're gonna write about and you don't know for example how many pages or what the topic is, you're again you're gonna fall into the same frustration, into the same procrastination and that's exactly why planning ahead would save you a lot of time and a lot of mental energy because as we said before it's not just about time management, it's about mind management and of course um, it's not it's not that easy planning and, and following through with the plan can be hard and sometimes when you're putting a plan um, uh, towards a certain goal you might encounter a lot of things on this plan that you're not comfortable with uh, a lot of in instances you have some stuff that you need to do that needs to push you out of your comfort zone and usually when people encounter these things, these things require a lot of willpower for you to be able to overcome the fear, get out of your comfort zone and do them, right? So the first action we should do on the road to success is facing our fear and getting out of our comfort zone because the more we get out of the comfort zone, the easier it is for us next time to get out of the comfort zone again. So of course, the first few times you might fail to follow and carry on with the plan that you have but you don't stop there you keep going back at it and back at it because practice makes perfect if if at, at, at the first sight of you getting out of your comfort zone you just say oh I can't do this and you, and you stop the plan right there just because you can't you can't get out of your comfort zone um, I'm gonna be very honest this will not just affect your time management this will prevent you from achieving your goals properly so sometimes the only thing standing between uh, achieving your goals and, and you is not, is not just time management. It's not just time. That's the issue. Sometimes it's putting the plan and following through with it that can be hard because, as I said, it might demand you to get out of your comfort zone. It might de demand you, for example, to say, no, I can't see uh, my friends tonight, I can't go out with the boys tonight, or I can't have a girls night out tonight. Uh, and this might not feel, you might not feel comfortable with this because you're used to uh, going out every single time somebody has a plan. But you need to get out of your comfort zone and follow on and carry on with the plan in order for you to be able to effectively manage your time. And eventually, you're doing it for a good purpose, which is your goals and your dreams. And when you do that, everything will seem easier. So what now? First, you get organized. Before you start your day, sit down on a desk, clean it up from distractions and items that won't contribute to your work. Um, always have the things that you might need to get the job done on the table so you don't get distracted and, and you say, oh, I need to go to the other room to pick up whatever thing and then you notice that notifications on your phone and then you spend half an hour on your phone. You don't want that. Put the distractions aside. Sit down and put everything you need in order for you to not leave the desk and just sit down and finish whatever you had to do. The cleaner the workplace, the better. So you need to get organized uh, in terms of in terms of the workplace and then you need to plan ahead uh, everyone in life has a goal and the biggest reason why most people never reach that goal is because they failed at planning ahead so put a plan before even getting organized you need to have a plan right 
you get organized and then you start after having your plan written down and you have everything organized on your desk or whatever look at the first thing that you need to, to do and the first thing on the list the, the, the biggest priority that you have and put all your energy and focus getting it done and transform that motivation uh, and, and kind of uh, switch it on to every single task that you need to do and don't stop until you're done. Um, sometimes, as we talked about before, you're going to get tired, you're going to feel like you're going to procrastinate. So uh, when I say don't stop until you're done, I'm talking about the crucial 20%. Even if you have to procrastinate, procrastinate on the least important tasks and not the priorities.